Hi, this is Stu from Merced Instruments, introducing a new instrument called Glass. Glass was designed for composers and sound designers looking for more unusual soundscapes in their work. From acoustic swells to gated, glitched synths, resonating metal to processed tape loops. To make this wide set of sound sources cohesive, I created four libraries, each with a defined set of processes and techniques using either outboard or digital gear to shape and create the sounds. The four instruments that make up glass are swell, resonance, tape and glitch. The recording sessions included acoustic woodwinds and strings, modular and analog synths and field recordings. The glass UI uses the same engine I developed for stone. The idea is pretty simple. The grid layout allows you to select different sound sources across four banks, then blend and sculpt them using the built-in effects. Imagine blending the oscillators of a synthesizer, for example. The sound sources have been arranged within the banks in a similar way across the four instruments. Bank A is bass and lead synth sounds. Bank B is kind of the focus sound of each instrument. So for swell, that might be cello. For tape, a tape process piano loop. Bank C is the swarm bank where the processing has gone a step further to create swarming textures and granular soundscapes. Bank D is field recordings and sound design. Less musical, but adds interesting, more random elements. The knobs on the left and right of each horizontal bank are as follows. Volume, pan, attack, and release for the envelope of each bank. Along the bottom are the effects. Low pass and high pass filters, which are also buttons that reveal modulation options. Then saturation, phase, stereo modeling, room and blur. Saturate and stereo are at instrument level, so they affect all the banks together. The other effects are at bank level, affecting each bank separately for greater control over the sound sculpting. You can choose the bank you're working on using the little button on the left. Building up an instrument in glass is simple. When you open the instrument patch, it will be in initialize mode. You can choose where you want to start, but I like starting with bank B. So I audition and listen to the sounds, turning down the other banks. I tend to use the bass sounds in bank A for a bit of depth, rolling down the cutoff so you just feel the presence of it. Then the same approach with the swarm sounds on bank C. And if you want some extra texture, dial in bank D. You'll want to sculpt these sounds to allow them to balance and to bring out particular aspects that are interesting. This is where the filters and the filter modulation comes in. the reverb or blur to create space and depth, or phaser to modulate in stereo. That's the process really, use your ears to explore the sound sources and try different things out. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.